Finium is this partnership for the best of the old world and the best of the new world. When the collaboration first started, I don't know that they knew what they were getting into. It's a challenge because people in Germany, they are more in the tradition than people in the States, and people in the States are more open for new things. But we were both excited by the possibility of creating an entirely new style of beer within the traditional ingredients and brewing processes. We started out tasting a few beers. We tasted some different products. We tasted champagne. We tasted a wide range of things. And, and that obviously loosens people up a little and, and brings out some descriptive language. And, and you find the things that you have in common, brewer to brewer. We found out that everybody's speaking the same language of brewing. We've got a great set of samples to sort of tour that whole discussion. I think we want to occupy a space that that you've never occupied and that we've never occupied. And by definition, that means nobody has ever occupied. It was a blast. They had an answer to any question that you could ask about beer. And we could think about things beyond anything they'd ever imagined. That is absolutely what we brought to the table. It was just an endless series of why do we have to do it that way? Can we do Both sides were really pushing the other side to go new ways. The tastings are so much fun. They're going to say, this is what we think the beer should be, and we're saying this is what we have, this is what the beer should be. We have to start making the same recipe. You know, that's the point of today's yeah. meeting. Pizza beer is, bitterness is okay, wonderful. Yeah. You the, taste, the it's beer bitterness, but it's not yeah. spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think you're right, 10 bitterness. About the right level. To me, this is this is an attitude approach. We have to build flavor. The flavor is not going to come from the wort. We want a very light colored beer. We want low bitterness. We want fermentability, right? And then we're going to give that to some yeast. So the yeast is a very important decision. This describes the specialness about the beer because in, in Germany, something like this is just not, it's totally it new. Eventually, they go back to Germany and we come back home and and we do it again a couple months later. We kept hitting challenges. We had to deconstruct the brewing process, ask ourselves, all right, what's happening and how in each of these stages? And now that we've taken it apart, let's put it back together in a different way. And our breakthrough moment came when we realized we could take some of these processes which naturally occur uh, in the mashing uh, uh, part of brewing, which is you know that first day of brewing, uh, we kept hitting this wall. We could only go so far with it. And we realized if we could take that um, and actually introduce it again as we filled the kettle and then again as we uh, fermented the beer, in a way it was a sort of tag team process of the yeast uh, digesting the sugars and making alcohol and flavor, while the, the enzymes that came from the very special malt we used sort of continued to make more food for the yeast. We age Infinium in the bottle for several weeks, very traditional method. And in that process, using a separate yeast, we create a lot more flavor and we create a lot of the carbonation. This is a process which is uncommon for beer, but, but familiar to, to uh, people who understand the champagne process. After two years, we finally just broke through every wall that existed between us and this beer. Of course, they're bringing beer to this table as well. Every time you bring them back together, you, the focus just gets a little tighter. The tasting we did today shows exactly that we are coming close together. We both agreed on what great beer should taste like. And when we tasted Infinium, we both agreed that's a great tasting beer. It's a product where you can find the face of Wein Stefan and where you can find the face of Samuel Adams. This is a great example of where those two brewing traditions come together. You're amazed that after two years, we can agree on what this beer should be. But. Here we are.